morning. Happy Sabbath. I'm so glad to see you again. I have missed you. And we are here for Sabbath school today. And um, we want to say good morning to each other. Let's wave our hands, okay? Wave a little hand and say good morning. Wave a little hand and say good morning. Wave a little hand and say good morning. We're glad you came to Sabbath school. I am so glad you're here today on the Sabbath day. We wait and wait all week long, don't we, for Sabbath to come. It's the best day of the week. It's Jesus' holy Sabbath day. Show me your hands. We're going to use our hands. Are you ready? Tis the holy Sabbath. Time to sing and pray. Angels are near. Time to worship Jesus. Tis his holy day. Jesus is here. He is here with us on the Sabbath morning. No matter where we are worshiping him, he is with us. And I'm glad you're here with me today on Sabbath. Sabbath is a happy day. Let's clap our hands today. Sabbath is a happy day. Happy day. Happy day. Sabbath is a happy day. Sabbath. I hope you love Sabbath too. It's the best day of the week and I am glad you are here on this Sabbath day. Jesus made all of this world and he made all of us too, right? We want to praise him for everything he has made. He made my hands and he made your hands too. Can you show me your hands? We're going to sing about our hands today. I have hands that clap, clap, clap. I have hands that clap, clap, clap. I have hands that clap, clap, clap. They were made by Jesus. And he made my fingers too. Show me your fingers. Let's wiggle our fingers. I have fingers that wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I have fingers that wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I have fingers that wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. They were made by Jesus. And he made our feet, too. Can you point to your feet? Let's make our feet tippy, tippy, toe. I have feet that tippy, tippy, toe. I have feet that tippy, tippy, toe. I have feet that tippy tippy toe. They were made by Jesus. And we want to praise him today, don't we? So let's get ready to pray. I have knees that bend by my chair. I have hands that fold in prayer. I have eyes that close so tight. Now we can talk to Jesus. Dear Jesus, thank you for this Sabbath day. Thank you for safety all through this week. Thank you that we can have Sabbath school today. Help me to learn more about you and to share what I learn with others. Help me to be kind and loving just like you. Be with all my friends and my family. Keep them safe. Thank you, Jesus for loving us always and come back soon. In Jesus name, Amen. Thank you Jesus for everything. Amen. Okay, we are going to open our Bibles today. 
and we are going to learn about Moses and the Israelites. The Israelites were God's people, and they had been in Egypt for a very, very long time, and Moses was there to help them. So we're going to open our Bibles and read about Moses today. So show me your Bible. Get it ready. Here we go. I open my Bible book and read of Moses, of Moses. We are, we're going to learn about Moses today and about God's people. Now Moses was God's special helper. God had called Moses to take his people out of Egypt. And so he was a helper. So when we open our Bible books, we read about Moses and how he was a helper. Are you a helper too? We can learn how to be helpers from Moses. Let's be a helper today. Now we have to pretend. So I have my pretend broom here. Are you ready? And we're going to sweep. So you help me sweep too. Get your pretend broom. Here we go. We are little helpers, helpers, helpers. We are little helpers, helping all the day. We are little helpers, helpers, helpers. We are little helpers, helping all the day. That's right. We want to be helpers for our mommies and daddies, don't we? And we can learn how to be those helpers just like Moses. Now when Moses was taking God's people out of Egypt to the promised land, God had promised them a special land for them that would be a beautiful land, but he needed a helper and so he called Moses to take his people to the promised land. Now between Egypt and the promised land there was a big desert and it was brown and it was sandy and it was dirt and there was just little scruffy grass here and there and there were some mountains and it was hot and it was dry and God's people the Israelites had to walk they didn't have cars then or airplanes to fly in they had to they had to walk so they had all their things ready and they were walking through the hot desert walking walking and every day they got closer and closer to the promised land. And one day, when they were almost there, God talked to Moses. That's right, he talked to Moses. Do you think Moses listened? Did he listen when God talked to him? Yes, he did. He listened and we want to listen too. Let's sing about Moses today, are you ready? Jesus talked to Moses, he listened, he listened. Jesus talked to Moses, he listened to him. Moses listened when God talked to him. And what he said was, I want you to get 12 brave men that will go into that land that I am sending you and we'll look all around to see um, what the land is going to look like. So let's count those 12 brave men. Help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve brave men. And Moses said, you are to go into the land and see what the land is like. The promised land that God is giving to us. And so those men walked and walked and there was a big river between where they were in the desert and the promised land. And so they had to cross that big river into the promised land. 
And they looked all around, and do you know what they found in that promised land? They saw, I lost one of my people. There we go. They saw beautiful flowers. There were big flowers all around. And there were grassy hills and tall green trees. And there were big cities. There was a very big city close, and there were other big cities out in the country, too. And those big cities had real tall, tall walls, very strong-looking walls all around the, the town, all around the buildings in the town. And something else they saw were some very big, tall, giant people. That kind of made them nervous because they were very tall people. But they saw some beautiful things in that promised land. They saw those flowers. We are going to sing about those beautiful flowers today. Here's some more beautiful flowers. Maybe they were big red flowers or purple flowers. Oh, we're not going to sing. We're going to use our hands. So show me your hands. Here's our flower today. Flowers were God's gift to Israel in the promised land, in the promised land. Pretty flowers were God's gift to Israel in the promised land. So they were beautiful flowers. And there were big, tall, green trees, too. Big, tall, green trees. Are you ready? You're a tall tree today? Tall, green trees were God's gift to Israel in the promised land. In the promised land. Tall, green trees were God's gift to Israel in the promised land. And also, there was big, juicy fruit. I think maybe they saw some orange trees, maybe, or maybe a pear tree, or maybe there were peach trees. There were big, juicy fruit. Oh, it looked so good, and those 12 men, they were very excited about the big, juicy fruit. So make your big, juicy fruit. Big, juicy fruit were God's gift to Israel in the promised land in the promised land. Big juicy fruit What were God's gift to Israel in the promised land. Oh, those were special gifts that God was giving them in that promised land. It was a beautiful land and they were excited about going there. So they decided they were going to pick some grapes. So they picked a bunch of grapes from a grapevine. Now, when I pick grapes, it looked something like this. This is what our grapes look like when we get grapes here. But in the promised land, the grapes were so big, the bunch of grapes was so big, that they had to carry the grapes over a stick. And two men had to carry those grapes. And I don't know if you can see my picture really well here, but can you see that? They had to carry it on a big stick. That bunch of grapes was so big. I've never seen a bunch of grapes that big before, but there was in the promised land. But those giant people and those tall, strong walls were making some of those 12 men a little nervous. So they walked back after they were in the promised land for 40 days. They walked back and crossed that big river again. And they went back into the desert. So let's move the men again. Let's get the desert back. And they went back into the desert to find where the Israelites were. So here we go. My desert. And they went back. <laughs> there. And here are our ten, our twelve men, 
our 12 brave men who went into the land. There they are. And they came back and Moses was waiting for them. And all the people were there. All the people were waiting to hear. And one by one, those 12 men started to talk about what they had found in the promised land. And one man said, the land was beautiful with flowers and trees and fruit. And you see the big bunch of grapes that we brought back. It's beautiful. And the people were all excited. But, he said, there are many cities with tall, strong walls. And giant people, we are not strong enough. We cannot take this land with those big cities with the strong walls and those big, tall people. We cannot do it. And then another man said the same thing. And another went. There were ten of those twelve brave men who said, We cannot go to this new land because that is too strong for us. And we will lose. We will not be able to take the land. Oh, the people were so sad. And they were afraid. They didn't want to go into this land if they were if they were going to get hurt and not be able to get in, get um, past those tall giant people. But do you know what? There were two of those twelve men, Caleb and Joshua, who said Yes, we can, because God is stronger than those big, tall walls, and he's stronger than those big, tall, giant people. My God is so great, Joshua said. We can go into the land. He promised, and he will take us there, and he is strong enough. God is strong enough, isn't he? Let's sing that song. My God is so great. Get your arms ready. Are you ready? My God is so great, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. That's what Caleb and Joshua said. They said, God can take us there. He's stronger than anyone. He's stronger than all of us together. And he is our helper. And he will, he will help us um, take that land. But the other ten men said, no, no, no. And so they made the people believe them. And so the people said, most of the people in Israel said, we don't want to go. We're not going into that land that is that is filled with giants and strong wall cities that we cannot defeat. We are not going. They did not trust Jesus. Jesus had promised them this land, and they didn't trust that he could help them get there. So Moses was so sad, and Caleb and Joshua were sad, and some of the Israelites were sad too. Because those people wouldn't go into the promised land. And so God said, told Moses, you cannot come in. And he sent them back into the desert. And he said, years from now, I will bring my people who will trust me into the promised land. But these people need to stay in the desert. And they will grow old and they will die in the desert. Jesus wants us to trust him like he wanted the Israelites to trust him. Caleb and Joshua trusted, but the people wouldn't listen to them. And that made them so sad. But we want to trust Jesus, don't we? So God sent the people into the desert, and they were walking in the desert for 40 more years. Did God still love them? Yes, he did, and he loved Caleb and Joshua, and he watched over them because he loved them all. So even though they were wandering in the desert, God was watching. God was watching over Israel as they walked in the desert, and he's watching over me when I work and when I play. 
He watches over us all the time and he wants us to trust him and I want to trust Jesus like Caleb and Joshua did. We want to do that, don't we? We want to trust Jesus. Let's pray about trusting Jesus today. Let's get on our hands and our, knee, our knees and we'll fold our hands, close our eyes. Dear Jesus, please help us remember how strong you are. Help us to be ready when you come to take us to your beautiful home in heaven. We love you. Jesus. Amen. Okay, let's not forget our memory verse. We need to remember our memory verse. We're going to say our memory verse. Let's see if we can bring this up here. And let's see. Here's that big stick with a big bunch of grapes. And our memory verse says, Do not rebel against the Lord. Numbers 149. So let's try our hands. Do not rebel against the Lord. Numbers 14, verse 9. Do you know what rebel means? Rebel means not to obey and to do what you want to do and not what Jesus wants us to do. So let's try that. Your turn. Let's do it. Do not rebel against the Lord. Numbers 14, verse 9. Very good. That's our memory verse. Let's remember that. We want to obey Jesus, don't we? We want to do what he wants us to do, and we want to trust him like Caleb and Joshua. Well, it is time for our Sabbath school to be over. Are you glad you came today? I'm glad I came to Sabbath school. Let's clap our hands. I'm glad I came to Sabbath school. I'm glad I came to Sabbath school. I'm glad I came to Sabbath school on this bright Sabbath morning. And as always, let's get on our knees and we're going to get ready to pray. And fold our hands and be nice and quiet. We'll say goodbye to each other, then bow our heads in prayer. Jesus, bless us through the week, and keep us in thy care. Amen. I hope you all have a happy Sabbath, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.